it, it seems that the, the, there's this thin line, you know, that we don't want to cross in destroying ourselves, but there's this, you know, this dance between innovation, exploration, and also self-destruction. And my concern is that, you know, hopefully we get to see your 2050 predictions. But yeah, we we're around for whether or not the predictions come true. We want to be alive for 2050 regardless. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. I, I hope we do resist the temptation of destroying ourselves and we, we can get past uh, our divisions between one another. And perhaps another way of resisting this temptation is if an alien would come and visit us, you know, because we would have like another, another quote-unquote enemy, you know, another A fault. common enemy, yeah. A common enemy. If the, if the aliens are evil, right? <laughs> then we have a common enemy. And so all of our differences evaporate away. Right. And then we would, uh, we, we all become friends with one another because we're fighting a common enemy. But really, we should try to make friends with you. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> yeah. I, I would love to also, it would really be amazing if we do realize that they were always observing, the UFOs were real, all of that was true. And I would love to ask him, why were you so curious in me singing in the shower or the r r war in Ukraine? Why were you so curious in observing us like if we we're a zoo? What, what are you trying to find here? Well, maybe we are their zoo. Maybe we are. Yes, a literal aquarium terrarium for their entertainment. I would be, I don't know how would that, I would digest that idea. Yeah, I know, that's a, that's a hard one right there. And I think some of my evidence for that dare I call it evidence, is anytime Earth is just doing fine, then somebody shows up that breaks the mold and breaks the pot and and everything spills out and it's a mess, you know? And I that's, I think, the aliens trying to keep us entertaining to them. <laughs> if you were an alien, Dr. Tyson, and you would be visiting the Earth, what would be a reasonable evidence for intelligent life or what would you look for? It depends on how much more intelligent than humans I was. If I was vastly more intelligent, I would not report that I found any life at all. No life at all. No, no intelligent life. I mean, just think about it. If you were, um, if humans were to you, the alien, the way worms are to humans, you don't work, walk, walk upon a colony of worms and say, they're intelligent. This is not your first thought. So no matter what our greatest feats of mind have ever been, it's possible that we are woefully behind the intelligence of alien species. And that would be very upsetting to us because we think very highly of our own brains and our own intellect to learn that it is an entry level capacity in the galaxy or in the universe could be uh, very disturbing to many people. Wow. For me, too, I would also enter in that in that group. <laughs> Dr. Tyson, I don't want to ask this question, but I do want to ask this question with the fears that I don't want to get into, you know, conspiracy theories or anything. It's just out of curiosity of my own. But, you know, we've seen all of these leaks uh, the recent weeks and months from from the this year, all of the UFO sightings and everything, and it got me thinking: what would be a reasonable uh, argument for the government? What would be a good motivation for them to classify if they've already found something beyond us? What would be a good argument for them? I would ask the question differently: if we're being visited by aliens what possible rational understanding of that visit do you have to declare that they're visiting only government agencies mm. <laughs> i mean how competent do you really think the government is i mean think about this we have six billion smartphones in the world right now capable of taking high resolution photos and video there's a million people at any given moment airborne with windows looking out into our atmosphere and your best evidence for aliens is some fuzzy lights uh, that on on classified video by the government 
Really? It seems to me that if we were being invaded by aliens, you would not need government hearings to establish that fact. That's how I look at it. I, I, there is no understanding of alien visits that has them only visit restricted Navy airspace to be picked up by pilots. And they're fuzzy at that. Meanwhile, we have telescopes parked a million miles away taking sharp images of gas clouds, you know, millions of light years away. We have rovers on other planets taking pictures of rocks. And you're telling me the best images we have of aliens visiting Earth are these lights or these these images that show... I, I, I'm not convinced. If I really wanted to believe it, I would say, oh, it, it really is. And they only are visiting the government. The government is so, so good at keeping secrets. And they're keeping it all a secret from us. And everybody who spots an alien, they show up at their doorstep in a black car and they scoot them away. And all these people are keeping a secret. Yeah. Okay. Right. Keep, go on. Uh, you want to keep thinking that, go ahead. But I have much more confidence in the power of data taking than, you know, look what goes, vi look what goes viral on the internet. A cat, a kitten jumping from a couch to a table and falling on the carpet. That's viral. If you got a viral of an alien stepping out of a flying saucer, walking towards you, which you can stream to the internet, yes, that would go viral. And if you're a janitor working at a secret facility where we're stockpiling aliens, uh, you can smuggle in a smartphone and then immediately post that image you'd be the richest, most famous janitor there ever was. Because, of course, you'd lose your job. But so what? You'd be rich and famous for having done so. And no one has ever done this. So I, I look the other side of it. I don't say, here are lights I can't explain, therefore they're aliens. I'm saying, if they're aliens, it seems to me we'd have better evidence than what you're putting for us. And we don't. I would be very afraid if these aliens are actually pixelated and fuzzy, and they're coming at me as if their pixels are fuzzy. Yeah, that's a, that's a joke that. Um, yeah. Uh, 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 what's the guy's name? Uh, Rit, uh, um, Mitch Hedberg commented on this. He said, uh, "I don't. I'm not afraid of Bigfoot. I don't, what scares me is if he's." actually fuzzy <laughs> <laughs> that would be really frightening and Absolutely. out of, yeah if you're out of focus and everything else around you is in focus run for the hills because what the hell is that yeah right and all of this alien conversation has been for in existence all along and like you say you you do provide compelling arguments in in saying that they might have not visited yet and the government doesn't have you know even the the power or the capacity or the talent to to hide and classify uh, aliens, and we also are not seemingly putting evidence out there that they actually might exist. But we'll see how this unfolds in the future, Doctor Tyson.